hi guys welcome back to this channel and if you're new to this channel consider subscribing by the way don't forget to hit the notification bell it will be the only way that you'll be updated when i upload a new video for the returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to this channel for the new subscribers thank you for coming to this channel it's the right it's the right place by the way don't forget to hit that notification bell you'll always be updated when i upload a new video remember we are still looking at Kuwait and other Middle East or Gulf countries and we are looking at the labor laws. I know most of you might be wanting to go to Kuwait or most of you might be wanting to go there for work or for visit, for any employment of any sorts. But this is the right channel, the right opportunity for you to know some of the basic labor laws that you need or some of your benefits in case you are given uh, you are given an opportunity to go and work in that one of the Gulf countries. Remember, we talked about other Gulf countries like Oman, we talked about Qatar, we talked about the UAE. What are the benefits and how do you definitely have to go about with what you call the labor laws and what are your benefits or what are uh, what clauses that protect you as the employee in those countries as labor law. Likewise, even today we are looking about talking about Kuwait, another Middle East country, which is also a very, uh, very popular or very favorite destination for most of people uh, coming from other nationalities. And today we are going to look at changing jobs in Kuwait. Can you change job in Kuwait? Yes. Like any other Gulf country, like any other Gulf country that does the laws. There are always those small, there are always those article clauses or there are always closed articles that will enable you to change job without even informing the employer. But how do you change the job from one, from one sponsor to another in Kuwait? Because you remember, most of these countries, all these countries have what you call labor laws. And before you begin, you begin whatever you have to do. You have to make sure that you follow what the labor law says. And what does the labor law say about changing jobs in Kuwait? Remember, the employee, the employee can transfer his residence from one employer to another after three years of date of issue of his work permit without the approval of the employer. I think that is very clear. You can only change job to one from one sponsor to another in Kuwait after you complete your contract that you are signed with that first sponsor. If it is a three-year contract, you must first finish the three-year contract then, and uh, then you can change job to another new sponsor. That's if you're not willing to renew your contract with the former sponsor. And that is part of the law. That is what the law says. Remember, your work permit or what you call your residence permit starts from the day that you sign your contract. That is when the day that is calculated, that is when the start of your work permit. So begin calculating from that until when your contract ends. And that's when you can change sponsor to another, uh, to another company or to another person that is willing to give you the employment. Remember, still under Article Article 44 of the Labor Law, Article 44 of the Labor Law, uh, Number 6 of 2010, entitles you or you as an employee, you are obligated, uh, you, you are supposed, actually let's just put it in the shortest term, you are supposed to inform your employer in writing or on what we call using an official email if you are born or if you are planning to resign from your position. And this should be followed according to what we call the required legal or the required the notice period must be followed. Remember we talked about the notice period which should be three months. So you should inform your employer in advance three months that I'm planning or I'm resigning from my position and that one should be in three months in advance. Because that is what the article, that is what article 44 of number 6 of 2010, Lebanon in Kuwait, says. However, 
there is also another option that in case you are unable to give that resignation or that notice or that resignation later or that notice period to your employer then you can as well submit your complaints to what you call the labor relation departments to inform the employer the submission date of the complaint is considered as your beginning of the notice period in case you are unable or in case your employer is a little bit harsh and you're scared you cannot submit your notice period or your resignation letter you can as well submit that to what we call the labor relation department and inform informing your employer stating the notice period of three months and that is going to be the beginning of the notice period remember in the case like other countries we talked about in Kuwait once you submit that complaint to the labor office the labor relation department about your employer or about your resigning your employer is not supposed to abscond what are we saying your employer cannot prevent you from going or cannot send any other message to the labor relation departments it will not be accepted meaning that the labor relation department will be the last resort or will be your email will be taken as the considerate as the number one that for you you can move on and go or resign and go wherever you have to go however it is still it is still notice or still you have to notice and understand that workers are only permitted to transfer after three years of insurance of the work permit so if you are planning to resign or if you are planning to resign it is supposed to be after three years and you're supposed to give a notice period of three months however to some extent if you have a consent if you have a, a mutual understanding or a consent between you and your between the consent between you and your employer you can as well resign because he has he or she or that company has to give you permission to duly allow you to resign so that is why it is mandatory or what that is why it is so hard that you first have to complete your signed years of the contract before you can be allowed to resign or before you can be allowed to change to another company hope that is very clear that is Kuwait Lebanon it's a little bit different with other uh, Gulf countries or Middle East country hope I'm very clear or hope it is okay thank you so much for guys for supporting this channel by the way don't forget to tap don't forget to hit that notification bell it will be the only way that you will be always be updated when i upload a new video remember support this channel it makes from the makes creation thank you so much for coming back to this channel see you again in the next video as we try to, to look at more articles and more clauses and what are you supposed to do as regards the kuwait labor law or as why when you go to kuwait for work what are you supposed to do thank you so much see you again in the next video